Spider Murphy. Spider Murphy, I mean, if you're a South African surfer or even from overseas, this safari label is part of our culture as South African surfers. Um, Sean Thompson, obviously a big part of the brand as well. And what was lovely is like Spider was so excited to make a board for the show. We had, um, she's, we had a really long telephone call or two. Sean Thompson has actually put his sort of uh, ethos and, and, and thinking into this new model. It's called the fish missile. So the missile was um, Spider's like go-to shortboard for his team riders. It's one of his most popular models, like really good. He's kind of taken a little bit of a fish, his fish model, and he's merged it with that to make this. It is a really interesting board. You'll notice that fin box there, right next to the thruster outside fin box. So you can't surf it as a quad. That is there to surf it as a twin fin. Uh, if I go twin, I'll probably put a little trailer in as well. Uh, as I turn it around, it has been surfed one session. The finish is beautiful. I mean, this color, the pin lines. So the guys really went to town. They've got the new logo already, the fish missile. Quite big under my arm. It's got a bit of volume, this one. It's, it's definitely going to be a good paddler. And I think when I talk surfing on it, I'm definitely going to mention to you that you can you can really lay into this thing like you can push really hard and it, it lets you so I've surfed it once as a thruster and I think it went really well so when it's smaller we're going to try it in the other fin configuration but if you look down the center there the double concave on this thing is like ridiculous I've never had a board like this in my life it is it is radical and it goes basically off the fins that concave goes all the way up to here like a couple of inches from the nose so it is it is just radical this thing i mean just look down that deck but what that does is, is it channels water down the deck towards the fins and it's really responsive. I, I was really surprised um, and I'm from first wave this thing went. So definitely excited to surf it some more. Of course the swallow tail and uh, I mean Spider's been in the game a long time. I trust him.
what to say about Spider Murphy? Well, I mean, he's a living legend. He's been making boards for South African pro surfers since the 60s and 70s. Uh, one of the greatest names to ride his boards, Sean Thompson, had a lot of feedback to put into this board right next to me as well. It's a board that was made for the regular guy and uh, is one of his new designs. I mean, it's pretty crazy. Spider's getting on and in the years and uh, he's still coming up with new shapes this is called the fish missile and um, the missile is one of his most popular models especially amongst his team riders it's a really high performance board he's comboed it with a fish shape i surfed it as a thruster in pretty fun lefts and rights and i think you'll see from like wave one just kind of felt really good good flow paddled beautifully and I really enjoyed surfing it. I felt, you know, with that crazy concave, like the concave goes almost all the way to the nose. It's a, it's a, I don't even think you can call it a double concave. It's like a quadruple concave. And uh, this board just like, I would push, and I mean, I'm a big guy, I would push and it was like, oh, you can push some more. Like you can really push some more. There was one, I think on my second wave I went off the bottom I lost it for some reason I don't know what happened but other than that like every time I put it on a rail it was just like yeah yeah let's go some more so it felt really good um, I'd like to serve it in some hollower waves I would still like to surf it as a twin fin because that's what that little second box inside the thruster outside fins is there for um, I have a feeling as a twin it's gonna be pretty cray cray and I'm thinking like if you had to surf it in hollow waves, you might actually go with the twin um, just to get that rail in really quick and down the line. So I still want to surf this board a lot. Um, unfortunately, so far it's just been one session, but it was a good one. And we kind of just banked it and been trying to get content on the other boards. Sorry, spider. But um, maybe tomorrow morning our last day maybe in cape town we've got a few more opportunities hopefully when i click my fingers you'll see that oh man no thorns <laughs> <laughs> I wanted a last session on that spider and we were gifted with a great session on the last morning up the west coast beautiful glassy conditions and it was the perfect time to test out this fin this was the interesting thing about the spider was the safari you know is that it could be served as a thruster or a twin so i used the new carbon twin the, the upright twin from scarfini and what was interesting is I did slip it back into the twin box right behind the outside thruster box but it, it kind of felt a little bit stiff and 
it's all I can describe it as. And I ended up popping it back into the outside thruster box as a twin, and it felt really good. And that whole session at, at the Beachy, I surfed it as a, as a twin in the outside box. And I mean, you can see from the footage, really held its line nicely. I got inside a couple of nice little barrels. I mean, big old captain was kind of plugging some of those tubes, but uh, I got in and it rode and it traveled. And also really nice off the bottom and off the top as well. So it was a good board as a twin. And I, I surfed it a couple of times after the test as well. And it was really feeling good as a twin fin, especially sort of at uh, right point break, which we don't have footage of, but um, I think you get the idea. So it's an interesting board because you can ride it with these, but of course you can ride it with that as well. And I mean, interesting little comparative there. You see the difference in sizes between the twin and the thruster outside. Now these are the new carbon airs from Scarfini. And that first session you saw me on at the, at Yo-Yo's, um, where the board really looked good. I mean, it was my first session on it, the first wave when cracking into two big round houses, a couple of really nice turns. The board had a lot of drive with this thruster set in. So I enjoyed surfing it as both. It's kind of tough to say which one I actually prefer, thruster or twin, but I think that's the interesting thing about the fish missile from Safari is that you've got those options. So it's a really interesting board. I mean, clearly it paddled really well. Uh, a lot of drive down the line and a very responsive surfboard. So, bizarrely, I mean, I've surfed a couple of boards out of the 70s from Spider out of the retro collection. I've never surfed a modern Safari. That was my first one. Super stoked. Sweet. Buoy. Oh, you're not here on the west coast with me for season three of The Regular Guy. Cold rose banks, briars, good waves, but the good news is you can be there for season four, which is going to be on the south coast in June. Warm water, barrels, briars, cold beers, and of course boards. All you got to do is check the details below, send me your clip of one minute of you reviewing a surfboard, Regular girl or regular guy, I'm going to choose my favorite. You get to come with Ian, Jonty and I to the South Coast and have a bloody good time over 10 days surfing, reviewing surfboards, just going mental basically. And the good news is, is the board you deem the best, the one that you love the most, you get to keep it. So get those entries in, one minute videos. I'm going back to the bra, but we'll see you soon.